I wanted to share five things um, that you should know about bulimia. But first, I wanted to share two things um, about being a former bulimic uh, that don't ever go away. So the first thing um, that I still suffer from now is anemia. I have to be on supplements uh, continuously on iron. Um, I feel tired a lot of the time um, if I don't take my iron, um, I feel sluggish, I don't feel like I want to do anything. And that is um, a kind of a thing that happened because I was a bulimic. Um, and number two is that feeling that you get, you know the one I'm talking about. When you eat something you feel like you want to throw up, that doesn't ever go away. You do get it under control, but that feeling is always in the back of your head. So that's something I wanted to share with you that never goes away. Now, on to five things that you should know about bulimia. Number one. So being bulimic um, is an emotional trigger. So when you're really upset, uh, say you uh, broke up with your boyfriend or your best friend uh, said, hey, you know, we're something really mean to you or something that really hurts you, that triggers you to want to eat everything in sight and then purge it. So it makes you feel better as you're eating. It makes you feel comfort. Um, but then as soon as you get rid of it, you feel terrible. And you just go back to being depressed and just feeling horrible about yourself. Number two. So as a teen girl, um, you want to feel beautiful. You want to feel confident and you just want to be happy. But bulimia does the complete opposite. It not only uh, makes you feel self-conscious, it makes you feel stressed out. Um, it just makes you feel terrible about yourself. So in, in turn, it's really not doing you any good. It's just doing the complete opposite of what you want and the teen life that you want to love. Three, it makes your breath stink and your teeth yellow. So yeah, I did say it makes your breath stink. Um, what do you think is going to happen when you're throwing up all that food back up when it's touched your stomach with all those acids and all that stuff that's going on in your stomach and you're continuously bringing that up? It's going to make your breast stink and no one's probably telling you this um, and it makes your teeth yellow and then eventually it causes your teeth to rot and then your breath is going to sink even more and you're just going to feel even worse about yourself. Number four. So being bulimic doesn't make you skinny. You think, hey, why am I gaining weight? Or why am I still staying the same? Well, with bulimia, so you eat all this food, right? And then you go throw it up. So basically you're teasing your body and you're saying, here, have some food, but then I'm gonna take it away. And here's some food again, and then I'm gonna take it away. So the little food that your body gets, uh, whatever it is, and usually binging means that you're eating lots of junk food and chips and just terrible stuff for you. So your body's hanging on to that and every time you do that it's just going to hang on to everything it can and that doesn't make you skinny. It just makes it worse for you. And number five. So I wanted to touch again on those feelings um, that are for life feelings. So those feelings of wanting to throw up every time you eat something. Um, those feelings of looking at a bowl of candy or some chips and saying, hey, I could eat that and just get rid of it right in the bathroom, nobody will notice. Um, that stays with you forever. So until now, till this day, um, I struggle with it. Um, it's always in the back of my mind. I love who I am now and I live a totally healthy life. I exercise and I love everything about my life, but those feelings and those thoughts are always there. And I want you beautiful girls out there to know that you don't need to be bulimic. Um, I became bulimic after my mom passed away um, and I just needed comfort and I wish there was somebody out there who would have said something to me, who would have said, hey, you know, you can do this instead of, you know, being bulimic. So now eat healthy and you can eat a salad, you can eat really good fruit. Um, without the feeling that you need to go get rid of it. In fact, you could eat whole bags of salad and you won't get that gross feeling inside of wanting to purge and binge. So for all you beautiful, beautiful girls out there that are binging, that are anemic, that are fasting, that are exercising for hours, that think that that's gonna help you, it's not, there's a better way. 
and um, I can help you do that. So those are the five things I wanted to share with you about bulimia. It's not a joke. Um, it's, it's very painful. It's an emotional cry for help for me it was um, after my mom passed away and I just wish there was somebody that would have told me all of these things so I could make a decision for myself on whether or not I wanted to continue doing it or not. I wasn't educated, I just did what I thought would make me feel better and in the long run it didn't. So for all you beautiful girls out there that are purging, that are binging, that are fasting, that are exercising for hours and hours um, at a time, it isn't the way to go. Uh, there's ways um, with food, great food, that you eat and you feel clean so you don't feel like you have to throw up or that you have to eat. I mean, you can eat as much salad as you want and not feel like you gotta go get rid of it. Um, so that's what I wanted to share with you and thank you for listening. And again, uh, please subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna go ahead and make some more videos um, interviewing uh, teens